Hi, in this video I'm going to show some various ways that we can get the difference between do two dates. So the most easy if we wanted to get the days between the two dates, the most basic function, or it's not even a function, the most basic way we can do that is just to subtract the end date from the start date. So if we want to get the number of days between these two dates. All I need to do is put an equal sign, select the end date, subtract the start date and I've got the number of days between those two dates. Now I'll say that I would just want to get the work days. What are how many work days are there between two different dates? Well there's a function in Excel that will do that and it's called net work days. I can just go ahead and and just type in the first couple letters of it and here it goes. It's here and just double click that. And it's telling me to add the start date. So I'll go ahead and add the start date comma so we have a comma here and then the end date and if that's all I really wanted I can just close parentheses press enter and it's going to give me eight work days that are between the start date and end date of course between these two dates is a holiday Christmas so what we want to do if we want to exclude that we remember earlier we had we had the formula uh, the parameters that we can put into this function uh, and this optional parameter is the holidays. So we can put a comma here and insert that holiday and press enter and that will give us the amount of work days between the start date and end date plus that holiday. So let's say, well, let's figure out that we want to do a difference between a start date and end date in months. Well there is a month function, you just press equal and type in N M O n and look we have a month function month function here double click that and it's basically going to give us the serial number back for the date uh, so if we select this cell and we close parentheses it's going to tell us that that is the twelfth month so it's going to be one to twelve right but let's say well we wanted to figure out what how many months are between the start date and end date here so what we need to do is subtract that end date and type in month here from that start date. So we'll double click this to get the parentheses open. Click that for the A9 cell, close parentheses, and there we have six months. Now one thing about this is that it only calculates the difference between a start date and end date based on the month. So if and it's it's based on a 12 month cycle so what that really means is if I've put 2009 here you would think that it would give me 18 months but it doesn't I press equal 2009 2010 it only gives you six months so really it only counts the month here June to December six months I'll show you a function later on that can help you count start dates that span multiple years let's move this back to 2010 and there you go we have a now let's say that we want to count the years in between two dates very similar to the month function we put an equal sign and there is a year function here I type in ye gives me some options for year double click that and we have this as the year. I'll select that B14, close parentheses, and what does that give me? It gives me 2010. But let's say I wanted to find the difference between this one and this one. Well, we know eyeballing it's going to give us 10 years. But if we had some different numbers, this is what the formula would look like. We have year. I can double click that. And select the start date close parentheses press enter and it'll give us 10 years if I change this to 2001 it should give us nine years and there you go we have nine years so let's say for example you wanted to get into some more detail about the differences between two dates and it spans multiple years now if we wanted to do something like figure out how many days are between the start date and end date here we would have to basically include many of the formulas uh, for month, for year, and write a big hairy uh, calculation for that. 
but that can be done with a date dated if function now this function really does not show up in the insert function it's one of those functions that Microsoft uh, introduced in I believe Excel 2000 but they never really follow up with any documentation so like for example if we did an insert function here and typed in dated if to find it it does not show up it's not one of those functions it's a hidden function when you really kind of think about it how do we use a dated if so let's get right into it so I type in dated if open parentheses but now we see we have a little tip here and the f there's three parameters that we're gonna put in here first is the start date and then the end date and as I said earlier we want to find out the days how many days are in between the start date and end date well to figure that one out there are a couple parameters that we, that we can use and it's, in, it's the interval so we can either find out how many months are in between or how many days how many years uh, how many months are there excluding the years how many days excluding the years and how many days excluding the years and months so let's go back into sheet one now let me go ahead and delete this let's say we want to find out how many days uh, occur between these, these the start date and end date I would have to use those intervals one of those interval parameters in double quotes so the the interval parameter for days is D so I just put D in double quotes do a close parentheses press enter we've got 3479 days between these two how many months do we have between these two well if I go back in here and I just change that D into an M we have 114 months what about years well let me go back in here change that M to a Y I bet you'll say nine and we have nine years. Well, let's say, for example, we wanted to figure out how many years, months, and days are between these two dates. Well, we already figured out how many years are between there. So let's type in years to, to, to label that one. How many, then how, after nine years, how many months do we have between here? Well, let's put in the label here. To figure that one out, we're going to use the months excluding years. So what this does is it gives us a complete calendar month between the dates as if they were in the same year. Right? So between June and December there should be six months. So let's put that in there. Put equal sign dated if open parentheses start date comma end date comma and we're going to use the YM interval parameter. Months excluding years go back here open parentheses YM now this should give us six months so it's going to pretend like that is basically between this June and December it's on one year so the start date end date there's nine years and then there's six months how many days well, let's put a days label here and the interval parameter we're going to use is this one days that are excluding years and months so it's going to f give us the calendar days between some dates as if they're in the same month or the same year so we go back to our sheet one between the 20th and 29th that should be nine days so let's put that in the let's put that into this little function all right date if open parentheses start date comma end date comma and then oh what was it oops Oops, that was month. That was month day MD. So let's go ahead and put quotes MD close quotes parentheses should be nine days and there we got it nine days. So between the start date and this end date, we've got nine years, six months, and nine days. Very cool function. This dated if function doesn't show up in the insert function um, window but this is a very nice function to use if you want to figure out the difference between two dates and they span multiple months and multiple years hope this helps thanks for watching